Hello and welcome to tonight's Torah read. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to say our customary blessings and prayers. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with the commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves in the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence enlighten you and may he be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. B'Shem Yahashua. Amen. Today's reads are Deuteronomy 29, 10, 9, 30, and 20. Prophets Isaiah 50, 6 through 56, chapter 8, 61, 10, 63, and 9. Rich Adesha, Luke 24, 1 through 12, Romans 7, 7 through 12. You are standing today, all of you before Yahweh, your Elohim, the Lord, the head of your tribes, your elders and your officers, all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and the sojourner who is in your camp. From the one who chops the wood to the one who draws your water, so that you may enter into the sworn covenant of Yahweh your Elohim, which Yahweh your Elohim is making with you today, that he may establish you today as his people, and that he may be your Elohim, as he promised you and as he swore to your fathers, to Abraham and Isaac and to Jacob. It is not with you alone that I am making this sworn covenant, covenant but with whoever is standing here with us today before Yahweh our Elohim, and with whoever is not here with us today. You know how we lived in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the midst of the nations through which you passed. And as you have seen their detestable things, their idols of wood, of stone, and of silver and gold, were, which were among them. <clears throat> Beware lest there be among you a man or a woman or a clan, or tribe whose heart is turning away today from your Elohim, <clears throat> from Yahweh our Elohim, to go and to serve the gods of those nations. Beware, lest there be among you a root bearing poisonous and bitter fruit. <clears throat> One who, when he hears the words of this sworn covenant, blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall be safe, though I walk in the, in the stubbornness of my heart. This will lead to the sweeping away of moist and dry alike. <clears throat> Yahweh, Yahweh will not be willing to forgive him, but rather the anger of Yahweh and his jealousy will smoke against that man and curses written in this book will be settled upon him. And Yahweh will blot out his name from under heaven, and Yahweh will single him out from all the tribes of Israel for calamity. In accordance with all the curses of the covenant written, in the book of law. <clears throat> in the next generation, your children who rise up after you, and the foreign, foreigner who comes from a faraway land will say, When they see the, afflic the afflictions of that land and the sickness of which Yahweh has made it sick, the whole land burned out with brimstone and salt, nothing sown and nothing grown, where no plant can sprout an overthrow like that of Saddam and Gomorrah. Adma and Zeboim, which Yahweh overthrew in his anger and wrath. All the nations will say, Why has Yahweh done this, done thus to this land? What caused the heat of his great anger? Then people will say, It, was, it is because they abandoned the covenant of Yahweh, the Elohim of their fathers, which he made with them, when he brought them out of the land of Egypt and went and served other gods, and worshipped them, gods of whom they had not known and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of Yahweh was kindled against his land, bringing upon all the curses written in this book. And Yahweh uprooted them from their land, in anger and fury, and with great wrath, and cast them into another land as they are this day.
The secret things belong to Yahweh our Elohim, and the things that are revealed belong to us and our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. And when we do and when all these things come upon you, the blessings and the curse which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among the nations where Yahweh your Elohim has driven you, and return to Yahweh your Elohim, you and your children, and obey his voice and all that I command you today, and with all your heart and with all your soul, then Yahweh your Elohim will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you, and he will gather you again from all the peoples where Yahweh your Elohim has scattered you, if four outcasts are in the uttermost parts of heaven, from there Yahweh your Elohim will gather you. And from there he will take you, and Yahweh your Elohim will bring you into the land that your fathers possessed, that you may possess it. And he will bring, he will make you more prosperous and numerous than your fathers. And Yahweh your Elohim will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring, so that you will love Yahweh your Elohim. With all your heart and with all your soul that you may live. And Yahweh your Elohim will put all of these curses on your for on your foes and the enemies who per persecuted you. And you shall again obey the voice of Yahweh and keep all his commandments that I command you today. Yahweh your Elohim will make you abundantly prosperous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your womb, and in the fruit of your cattle, in the fruit of your ground. For Yahweh will, will again take delight in prospering you. As he took delight in your fathers when you obeyed the voice of Yahweh your Elohim to keep his commandments and his statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you turn to Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment that I command you today is not too hard for you, neither is it too far off. It is not in heaven that you sh should say, who will ascend to heaven for us? Who will bring it to us? <coughs> that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart so that you can do it. See, I have set before you today life, and good, death, and evil. If you obey the commandments of Yahweh your Elohim that I command you today, by loving Yahweh your Elohim, by walking in His ways, and by keeping His commandments and His statutes and His rules, then you shall live and multiply. And Yahweh your Elohim will bless you in the land that you are entering and take to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away, and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them. I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life that you and your offspring may live. Loving, your, loving Yahweh your Elohim, obey his voice and holding fast to him. For he is your life in length of days, that you may dwell in the land that Yahweh swore to your fathers, to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob, to give them Isaiah 55, 6, 58, 8. Seek Yahweh while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous men his thoughts. Let him return to Yahweh that he may have compassion on him, and to our Elohim, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth, making, <clears throat> making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so that my word be that goes out from my mouth, it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I promise, uh, which I purpose. It shall succeed in the thing for which it is sent, for you shall go out in joy 
and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorns shall come up the cypress, and instead of the briars shall come up the myrtle. And it shall make a name for Yahweh an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Thus says Yahweh, Keep justice <clears throat> and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come and my righteousness be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, and the son of a man who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath, not profaning it, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. <clears throat> Let not the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, Yahweh will surely separate me from his people. And let not the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree, for thus says Yahweh to the eunuch, to keep my Sabbath. To the eunuch who keeps my Sabbath. Who chose the things that please me and hold fast my covenant. I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a name, better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. And the foreigners who join themselves to Yahweh to minister to him, to love the name of Yahweh, and be his servant. <clears throat> Everyone who keeps the Sabbath, and does not profane it, and holds fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offering and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called the house of prayer for all peoples. The Lord Yahweh who gathers the outcasts of Israel declares, I will gather yet others to him besides those already gathered. Isaiah 61, 10 through 63, 9. <clears throat> I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh. My soul shall exult in my Elohim, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation, and he has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as long as earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up, so that Lord Elohim will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. For, thy, for Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet, until her righteousness goes forth as brightness, and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your righteousness in all the things, in all the kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name, by the mouth of Yahweh, that the mouth of Yahweh will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the land, in the hand of Yahweh, and a royal diadem in the hand of your Elohim. <clears throat> you shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall have shall no more be termed desolate, but you shall be called my delight is in her, and your land married, for Yahweh delights in you, and your land shall be married, for as long as for as a young man marries a young woman, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your Elohim rejoice over you. On your walls, O Jerusalem, I have set watchmen all the day and all the night. They shall never be silent. You who put Yahweh in remembrance, take no rest, and give him no rest, until he establish, establishes Jerusalem, and makes it a praise in the earth. Yahweh has sworn by his right hand, and by his mighty arm, I will not again give you grain, to be food for your enemies. And foreigners shall not drink your wine, for which you have labored. But those who garner it shall eat it, and praise Yahweh. And those who gather it shall drink it in the courts of my sanctuary. <clears throat> go through, go through the gates. Prepare the way for your people, for the people. Build up, build up the highway. Clear it of stones, lift up a signal over the peoples. Behold, Yahweh has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to daughter, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation comes. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. And they shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of Yahweh. And you shall be called sought out, 
A city not forsaken. Who is this who comes from Edom in crimson garments of from Basra? Who is splendid in his apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I, speaking in righteousness, mighty to save. Why is your, gar why is your apparel red, and your garments like his who treads on the winepress? I have trod in the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. I trod them in my anger and trampled them in my wrath. Their lifeblood spattered on my garments and stained all my apparel. For the day of vengeance was in my heart and my year of redemption had come. I looked, but there was no one to help. I was appalled, but there was no one to uphold. So my own arm brought me salvation and my wrath upheld me. I trampled down the peoples in my anger. I made them drunk in my wrath, and I poured out their lifeblood on the earth. I will recount the steadfast love of Yahweh and the praises of Yahweh, according to all that Yahweh has granted us, and the great goodness to the household to the house of Israel, that he has granted them according to his compassion, according to his abundance, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he said, Surely they are my people, children who will not deal falsely. And he became their savior. In all their affliction he was afflicted. And the angels of his presence saved them. In his love and his, in, in his pity he redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. Luke 24, 1-12 but on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices that had been prepared, and they found a stone rolled away from the tomb. And when they went in, they did not find the body of Lord Yeshua. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was in the in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified on the third day rise. And they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they all told, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Jonah, and Mary the mother of James and the other women with with them who told these things to the apostles but these words seemed to them an idle tale and they did not believe them but Peter rose and ran to the tomb stooping and looking in he saw the linen cloth by themselves and he went home marveling in what had happened Romans 7 7 through 12 what then shall we say that the law is sin by no means yet if it had not been for the law I would not have known sin, for I would not have known what it is to covet if the law had not said, You shall not covet, but sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, producing in, all me, in me all kinds of covetousness. For apart from the law, sin lies dead. I was once alive apart from the law. But when the commandment came, sin came alive and I died. The very commandment that promised life proved to be death to me. For sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, deceived me, and through it killed me. So the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and righteous, and good. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah. B'shem Yahshua. Amen.